Once upon a time, there was a beautiful queen who gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. The baby had skin as white as snow, and the queen decided to call her Snow White. Sadly, the queen died when Snow White was still very young. Snow White was a happy little girl who grew up to be kind and helpful. After some time, the king married again. This time to a cruel and wicked woman. The new queen treated Snow White very badly. The wicked queen had a magic mirror, and every morning she would stand before it and say, "Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all?" You are. The mirror would always reply. But one day, having asked her mirror the same question, the mirror replied, "Snow White is the fairest of them all." The queen was furious. She sent for a huntsman and ordered him to take Snow White deep into the forest and kill her. The queen gave the huntsman a box to bring back her heart as proof of her death. The huntsman led Snow White into the forest, but he couldn't kill her, no matter how frightened he was of the wicked queen. He thought of a plan to save her, and told Snow White to run away and never return. The huntsman killed a deer. And placed its heart into the wooden box to give to the queen. The wicked queen believed the huntsman had completed her evil task and was delighted. <laughs> Meanwhile, Snow White ran deeper into the forest. It was getting darker and darker, and she was growing tired, lost, and scared. Luckily, some animals appeared. And helped her through the dense forest to safety. They led Snow White to a little house. She knocked on the door, but nobody answered. She pushed the door open and peeped inside. What a lovely little house this is! But everything is such a mess, she said. Snow White thought that if she cleaned up the little house, then perhaps she would be able to stay. All the animals helped her, and soon the place was sparkling clean. Snow White now felt tired, and quickly fell asleep. Evening came, and out of the forest came seven little dwarfs. They were returning home after a busy day's work in the mines. There's a light coming from our home," one of them shouted. The dwarfs crept up to their house and looked inside. What a surprise they got! The house was so clean and tidy. Upstairs, they found a beautiful princess sleeping on their beds. They were frightened at first, but they soon realised once Snow White had awoken. How sweet and kind she was! From that day onwards, Snow White lived happily with the seven dwarfs. Meanwhile, back in the palace, the queen stood in front of her magic mirror and asked him, "Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all?" To her surprise, the mirror replied, "Snow White." Still the fairest of them all. She lives in the forest with the seven dwarfs. The queen was furious, and she decided to use her evil powers on Snow White. She turned herself into an old woman and mixed together a poisonous potion. Then the queen dropped an apple into the poison. And it came out rosy red. She then placed the apple into a basket and went into the forest to find Snow White. 
Soon, the queen arrived at the dwarf's house and knocked at the door. Snow White answered and invited the old lady in. Please, let me give you something for being so kind, said the queen. And she offered Snow White the poisoned apple. Thank you so much, said Snow White. And she bit into the apple. She suddenly grasped her throat and fell to the floor. Now at last, I am the fairest of them all, screeched the wicked witch, <laughs> whose old woman disguise melted away to reveal her true self. That night, the dwarves returned to find Snow White lying on the floor. The dwarves, heartbroken, placed her body in a glass coffin and took turns to watch over her. A young prince heard about the beautiful princess in the glass coffin and rode out into the forest to find her. As soon as the young prince set eyes on Snow White, he fell deeply in love with her. He lifted up the lid of the glass coffin. As the prince lifted up Snow White's body, the piece of poisoned apple which had been stuck in her throat fell away. Snow White woke up and instantly fell in love with the prince. They were soon married and, together with the seven dwarves, they lived happily ever 